Hello, welcome to Straw Island Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 105.4. Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. So, just trying to stay in the right mindset. Um, okay, so last week I recorded kind of late, so this one should be pretty short. Uh, I uh, told you I got my daughter her sewing machine stuff, and I did all that on Monday of last week. Well, it didn't, this week didn't even feel like I had a weekend, okay? It went by so fast, and it just feels like this week is continuing on. I will say this, the boss is back at work, so I now only have one boss again. Amazing how that works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I recorded Thursday, but like Thursday and Friday, every night, I'd get off work, get to the house. There was just time to eat, time to to get the chores done around the house, and then it was time for bed to get up and do it all over again. So, there wasn't a whole lot that um, was going on, just because. So, um, I did pick up and work on, you know, I showed you last week this and it is a reversible pouch now <laughs> I would have been further but I had to rip out two um, rows so I made a mistake on like the start of how I brought it up and started it so I got all the way across and all the way back and then figured out my mistake and went, shoot. And it would not lay flat. I couldn't hide it, um, for lack of any other word, uh, to save my hide. So, I had to rip out two rows. Um, or it would have been further. But I have kind of been using this just in the evening. I do try to sit down and just for five or ten minutes crochet. Um, if I'm not going to do that. I want to do five or ten minutes uh, sewing. So this is getting further. It's just not going very fast. This weekend the dogs had kind of been itchy. So we had not treated the yard yet and I think that's, I found some bug bites on me. Uh, I like to run around barefoot. So yeah. a big old bug bite on the top of my foot. And boy, wearing my shoes at work was horrible. Anyway, so um, Saturday, I decided I would adult and um, went and got the stuff, treated the yard, moved all the furniture out, vacuumed around all the edges of all the outer walls of the house, sprayed inside and out, and then they weren't due until like the first of the month to get their treatment, but the dogs got retreated for bugs. Just, yeah. And they were kind of getting itchy. So I think the bugs were jumping on them outside and of course dying because I treat the dogs. But in the time that they're there, you know, they make them itchy. So, um, yeah, treated all that and it took all day. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so then I decided the other evening that I was going to kind of sew and I thought I'll make one bag a night that will relax me. So I started on this little endeavor. I dug out this and got this. It's going to be really cute. It's very purpley pinkish and I haven't gotten to this one yet. Um, and then I grabbed, uh, here. I grabbed this guy. Which I should have had this put together before. But I've been fussing with it. Not tell you why. I have not top stitched this one, so it doesn't. <laughs> the cloth gets in, the lining gets in the way. Okay, so I grabbed this one. And I grabbed this one. Now, the problem with these and I am trying to use up old zippers that I have 
Um, and, you know, this one's a pink one. This one's a blue one. And they're metal teeth. They are amazing. They're strong. The problem that I'm having with using these zippers is, and you can see that's as far as I got was I'm fussing with the zippers, okay? And so that's going to be my little thing. I have a, quote, piping zipper foot, okay? It's supposed to be dual purpose. It's supposed to adjust from left to right. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's a little thing on the back, and it adjusts from, you put it on your machine, and you can do the right side, or you can slide it over and do the left side. So it sews here, or you can pull it over here. Um, this is the one I've used for literally 20 years. And I now know why I suck at zippers. Because, and I'm going to show you here. So here's my zipper. And I get it all lined up and I'm sewing on this side. I tend to sew with the wrong side up. So I can see that. And when I put my foot down and go to line it up along the edge, here's what happens. You see that? There's no place for the needle to go. Um, the This one, there's two spots where the needle can drop. Um, here or here. So depending on whichever way you set it up, um, neither one of those are usable because my foot literally is wider than the zipper. So I check it in as far as I can. Yeah. So I'm not sewing on the zipper. So then I have to improvise. And a lot of times I'll put it to this side, do it to the other side, and sew on this side which makes it too close, and then the zipper doesn't zip freely. So, I'm struggling with this. And I got online, and I tried to look for a narrow uh, zipper foot. And my machine is super old, okay? I've had it 35 years. Right at 35. I got it when I was 18 or 19. And I am 34. I am 54. So, yeah, it's super old. It is a Brother VX 1010. Okay, it was not top of the line when it came out. Um, it is solid metal and it's heavy and I love it. Uh, I, I can use this thing. I know what to do with it. Uh, but finding a narrow and I just went on Amazon and I'm going to see if I can bring this up. Um, so the problem is, and I'll see, I don't know if I can do this. So my foot, there's just a bar that comes down. There's a thing that you dial, screw in, screw out, and it hooks onto this right here. Now, the newer sewing machines, um, Uh, I should have brought this up earlier, but I didn't really think about it. The newer sewing machines just have the things that snap on, like this step, like my serger does. Um, so, now this one says for a baby lock, but do you see that? It, it snaps on to the bottom thing. Well... I don't have that. Uh, so they have some great kits that are 
Now this one here is 32 pressure feet. Universal. <laughs> no, not universal. Um, so <laughs> I, I don't know. They're all snap-ons is all that I'm finding. And I don't know how to, of course this thing's not going to punch it. I don't know how to find any that are not. Um, because I did put in brother, just so you know. And see there, those pressure feet come up, which are great but that's not how they connect to my machine. So, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, I am looking for one because, oops, sorry, this sun's starting to come out. It was stormy earlier. Uh, I obviously need a narrower. Up to 90% off. What the heck? Phone's going crazy. Okay, so let me fix this window. The sun is rising. We had storms again last night. Um, I don't. We didn't have any damage. I haven't heard from RJ this morning, but yeah, it's just been. Four or five days really nice, a night of horrible storms. When I went to bed last night, they said the storms were supposed to be here about three o'clock this morning. I slept through them. I'm just that mentally and physically exhausted. Didn't hear a thing. So anyway, back to my zipper thing. So I need one of these that is going to actually hook on to my machine. Um, back in the day, this was how they did it. I don't know if I can buy a foot or, or a thing that I can put on there that makes mine a snap on foot or not, because I don't know what it's called as you can tell. So yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I do need a narrower zipper foot. And this one is a zipper piping foot. Uh, so it's a multi-purpose and it's as old as the hills. But you can put piping in and it'll sew really close to the piping. And that's, you know, and the theory is you can do it with zipper too. Well, the problem is, is if you don't have enough edge on the zipper, it doesn't give you any place to sew. Um, I tried, I was thinking I was going to show you guys this. So I tried two different ways. Um, and here is the result. So the top, you can see my stitches. Okay. See those? You're not supposed to see those. Those are actually underneath and they're pulling through. Then I did this one, which is great, but um, if you just do it that way, then it's not, um, the edge isn't folded under. You can see, and I've, it's hit and miss. Okay. So part of this will flip out and you'll see the raw material. And I think the other side was worse. So here we go. All right. And this is a good example. So when I did it the other way, see here, it doesn't stay up and I've missed part of the thing. So this is raw edge fabric showing. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got to find a narrow um, head zip or uh, zipper. Head. I don't know what you want to call it. narrow zipper foot, I guess, 
but I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to go to the Brother website and see what they recommend because, like I said, I bought that one years and years and years ago, and I thought I just was horrible at doing zippers. I thought I didn't understand, and I, and so, like I said, this week I was like, I'm going to master these zippers. There's no reason why I can't do this. I sew straight. I'm good, you know. I should be able to put this on. I went on YouTube and I actually watched a video of a lady do it, but she had a different foot. And so, um, yeah, that's the problem is I need a narrow, uh, foot. So I'm going to look on brother website and see before I attempt any more of the zipper bags. I'm probably going to make some drawstring bags and, uh, and just move on to that. I do want to, I have not found yet. I got, I have to find my vinyl, my clear vinyl. I have clear vinyl and I'm going to make some peekaboo bags. Uh, and I saw some really cute, uh, what do you call it? Vinyl bags done. And I'm going to try and emulate those. They're really cute. They had a little piping around the edge, which of course, if there's piping, I've already got the foot. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, as far as this week, um, Sunday, we did go out on the boat, uh, because we just needed to get away. Um, I caught a couple of little part. They weren't big enough to keep I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> no, they were not perched. They were silver. They were sand bass. I'm sorry. Uh, the first time we went out, I caught perch. A uh, roommate is learning the electronics on it. Things are going better with that. Now that I've got everything registered in roommate's name, it just, yeah, we're, we needed a longer weekend and we didn't get it. So, uh, coming up this weekend, for those who don't know, Roommate is born on 4th of July. I think I addressed that before. Roommate has a four-day weekend, and I have a two-day weekend, work one day, close Tuesday, work three more days, and then a two-day weekend. So, yeah, it's kind of odd. But I can handle Monday if I know I'm going to get Tuesday off, right? And then by Tuesday, when I go back to work Wednesday, I'm halfway through the week, so I'm good. But the boss is back, so now I only have her as a boss and not 50 different people trying to tell me how to do my job. So, yeah, that makes it easier. I'm carrying a lot of stress on my shoulders. Uh, I don't know. They're just aching, like, right in here, my neck and shoulders. And I know it's stress, so I just need to relax, and I slept really good last night. I slept right through each one. All right. Other than that, I think I'm going to get off here, and you guys have heard me babble enough. I am looking for a better zipper foot. If you have an idea, or you see one that you know will work, or you've bought one, let me know in the comments below, because I, I really need... When you buy these, they do say zipper slash piping foot. They're just too wide for narrow zippers. So I need narrow. And when I say narrow, these are just older zippers. And even this blue one that is, I mean, this is a, a good size zipper. Okay, it's not, but when you put this foot down and you're running your foot along this, there is absolutely either it's going to sew so close to the zipper it's not going to open up or it's going to miss the material altogether. So, and that's your two choices, which I wish it was just narrow. So, all right, I'm going to get off here. I will talk to y'all next week. Sorry, this isn't much of a thing. I, just my struggles with the zippers, I will get them. But and I'm going to master them this week, I hope. Uh, but I'm also going to look for a new foot. And I think the foot 
if it's narrow enough and I can line it up on the zipper and still sew on the zipper, that will be amazing. But if there's a trick to this, you guys let me know, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.